Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Since Alabama brought young Dewey Dawson to the Red Horse Ranch, Dewey has slowly but surely won the friendship of all the boys in the outfit, as well as that of Rose and Dad Carter. Everyone's been talking about that thrilling horse race between Alabama and Steve Bradford, but tonight the boys are all up on the veranda of the ranch house enjoying a typical night under the western skies. Let's listen to them singing. Jump up beside me, right to my home. My heart's been laughed, so no more we'll roam. Pride of the Prairie Mary. Pride of the Prairie Mary, my own. Jump up beside me, right to my home. My heart's been last, so no more will roam. Pride of the Prairie Mary. Pride of the Prairie Mary, my own. Jump up beside me, right to my home. My heart's been last, so no more will roam. Pride of the Prairie Mary. by any chance the serenade, was it? <laughs> Call it whatever you like, Rose. We were singing for you. Well, wouldn't you like to come in the house, boys? It's so dark out here, I can hardly see you. Well, this is all right for us, Rose. Out here on the veranda, if it suits you. No use us getting a roof over our heads unless we have to. Well, of course it suits me. If you promise me, you'll sing some more. <laughs> you can count on that, Rose. Uh, can you see where you're going? Yes, I think so. I'll just sit down here on the step with Dewey. That all right with you, Dewey? Of course it is. What do you want him to sing for you? Well, Dewey, I believe I'd like to have him sing the prettiest song they know. What's that, Pony Boy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that's a good one, Dewey. But I'll tell you what I'd like to hear. I'll bet you've forgotten it, Rose. What? Little Mother of the Hills. Oh, no, I haven't. That's a lovely song. Sing it, boys. Oh, all right. <laughs> Mother's gone from that home in the mountains To her place in the land of the blessed How I'd like to go today All her love I would repay She's my sweet little mother Back to the home I love so well In the mountains of sunny Tennessee Mother's gone from that hill But the place that I love still Calls me back to the hills of Tennessee Mother's gone from that home in the mountains To her place in the land of the blessed How I'd like to go today All her love I would repay She's my 
Mother always loved that one so much. Rose? Oh. Rose, are you out here? Yes, Dad, over here on the step. Oh, Come on out. <laughs> you you kind of deserted your old dad, <laughs> didn't you, Rose? Well, you really couldn't blame me, could you, Dad? With all these handsome cowboys out here and all this beautiful music. <laughs> what are you galoots trying to do? Take my gal away from me? <laughs> <laughs> they were just singing one of your favorites, Dad. You should have heard it. <laughs> oh, I was listening. It was mighty fine, boys, mighty fine. Well, uh, I'll sit down here with Rose and Dewey. Here, come on. Hey, where, where's that dog of yours, Dewey? Oh, I don't know. I guess he's out chasing some more jackrabbits, Mr. Carter. Uh, ain't you scared them jackrabbits leak that pooch of yours up? Of course not. Anyhow, Elizabeth can catch jackrabbits better than you can. <laughs> <laughs> you stick up for that dog of yours, Dewey. He's all right. He's your is, Dewey. He's a good dog. Well, boys, uh, I guess a month ago, none of us ever thought we'd be here now. <laughs> Things are looking a little better than they did, Mr. Carter. Yes. You're getting the idea that there was oil to be found on this ranch may make us all rich. When do they count on starting to drill for oil, Dad? Well, I guess it'll take a little time. Mr. Niles says they're going to move the drilling equipment on the ranch as soon as they can. Well, believe me, if they ever do make a strike, we're sure going to feel like singing around here. Oh, yes, well, well, you just as well feel like singing right now, Cheyenne, with the luck we've had already. Say, boys, you haven't sung that song of Bob's lately, have you? You know, my prairie home in old New Mexico. Well, let's see if we can remember that, fellas. Yeah. Sure. Oh. <laughs> to go back to old New Mexico, back to the plains I used to roam. Ever since the day that I wandered far away, I think about the place I once called And the broken down corral The cactus and the prairie grass I love them all so well Oh, I'd like to go Where the sage and yucca grow Round my prairie home in old New Mexico to go back to old New Mexico, back to the plains I used to roam. Ever since the day that I wandered far away, I think about the place I once called home. Dream about the ranch house and the broken down corral, the cactus and the prairie grass. I love them all so well. Oh, I'd like to go where the sage and yucca grow, round my prairie home in old. Bob, if you wasn't so all fired lazy, you'd keep on writing songs like that. Shucks, I, I guess you ain't heard some of the songs I wrote. <laughs> Maybe it's just well we <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, well, say, Rose, yes? not changing the subject, but you've been gone most of the day, ain't you? Yes, I rode Prince over to see Sally Higgins today. I imagine she gets kind of lonesome over there, just she and Lem. Lem Higgins was by here last night. Oh, oh I didn't he see Oh, he was? It. Well, he didn't come up to see me. Oh, he was just passing by. Mm. I guess I didn't tell you. Lim heard news that a couple of the old Dawson gang broke out of jail over at Roaring River. Is that so? Hmm, kind of bad to have those rustling varmints running over the country. We found that out. Yeah, but they found out we could do a little shooting. Oh, please, boys. Let's not talk about that with Dewey here. Oh, of course not, Rose. I didn't think. Oh, hey, Monty. Yeah? As long as you got that squeeze box strapped on your shoulders, we might listen to something from you. Yeah. <laughs> He's down past the bunkhouse there, Dewey. I'll be back in a minute. All right. That dog sure is kicking up thunder. Never heard him bark like that before. I guess Dewey thinks more of that dog than anything in the world. It seems funny to me, though. A dog named Elizabeth never could amount to nothing. Go oh, ahead with your music, Marty. Too bad that farmer had to interrupt you. Hey! Hey, now what do you suppose is the matter? Why, he seems awfully frightened. Come on, boys. Dewey wouldn't haul over nothing. All right, let's go over there. Come on. Dewey! Where are you? What's the matter? Why, there's somebody else down there. They're riding off now. Dewey, you all right? They tried to get me, Ella Ben. You won't let them, will you? Who tried to get you, Dewey? What happened? Them fellas went up and grabbed me. When they heard you coming, they ran off. But who were they, Dewey? What did they want? I don't know. It was so dark I couldn't see them. Only I guess they knew me, though. They said I had to go with them. Only I don't, do I? You bet your life you don't. Dewey. You better stick mighty close to me from now on, whatever this is all about. Well, what in tarnation would anybody want with this little fella? wonder that, Idaho. Perhaps Dewey knows more than he's telling. Don't miss the next episode of Life on Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> <laughs>